Pamplona's band, the air sizzles with white-hot anticipation for the fantastically popular Julio Blanco's first ever worldwide concert telecast. Julio Blanco takes a last-minute interview in his luxury glass-bottom blimp slash dressing room. International star, pop icon, every young girl's fantasy. Not to mention a few seasoned journalists. What? What's next for <laughs> Julio Blanco? What is next for Julio Blanco? I ask you, Barella, who knows? Because my whole life has been an opening act for this night. After my mind-blowing performance tonight, the world will never be the same again. Because everyone will want every night to be just like tonight. Saturday night, huh? My Saturday night. Sabro Blanco. Got it? I think so. Mr. Blanco, you're on in ten seconds. I must go on. Wait, no, the interview wasn't over. You haven't cried yet. I don't cry for others. Others cry for me. And we're live in three. Let every night two, be Saturday night forever. One. Sabro Blanco! Did you get all that on tape, Bill? That was one hell of an opening number. Spy Groove, file number Crunchy Bottom Epsilon Dash 14. Codename Spanish on the Fly. The Maxi Bar, a fabulistic libation lounge. Agent number one and agent number two, two people who would normally deny ever listening to Julio Blanco, now discuss the tragic loss of Julio Blanco. You were not. I was two. You were not. I was two. We were very close. Hey, boys. It's Mac, masterpiece by nature, cocktail waitress by choice. So what's the difference between Julio Blanco and your date last night? Uh, they both blow up. But only one's reusable. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that's totally inappropriate. He claims he and Julio were very close. Oh, yeah, everyone does that after someone famous dies. Hey, I knew him. Yeah, right. Here's one. What do you get when you cross Julio Blanco, Michael Jackson, and the Dalai Lama? Ooh, I haven't heard this one. Your pants are ringing. I'll tell you later. Agent number one answers his holographic calling card slash credit card slash library card slash phone. It's Helen Troy. She's all-knowing, all-seeing, and all that. What's up, boss? I don't know what's up, but here's what's going down. I'm sending you boys to Pamplona, Spain. Does it have anything to do with Julio Blanco's drop-dead performance last night? It has everything to do with it. Millions of dollars in donations are flooding in from Julio's fame. Where's it all going? It seems the Blanco family has requested... One minute, boys. Work that phone call up. The family requested that donations be sent in Julio's name to a mysterious charity foundation known as Sabado Blanco. Sabado Blanco? So wasn't that the name of Julio's concert tour? Yes. It's also the name of a private real estate corporation owned by the Blanco family. So you're saying the Blanco family is reaping millions from Julio's death? I'm saying down in Pamplona, it's not just the bulls who are full of it. Don't forget to pack your castanets. This is Tom Brokaw in Pamplona, Spain. I'm outside the Casa Blanca, the famed Blanca family estate. For the last 24 hours, there has been a constant stream of mourners arriving here from all over the world to pay their respects to a beloved pop star killed in his prime. Who can forget the poetic words of his hit song, Yocato Numeros. I sing numbers which shall forever be immortalized as Julio's own eerie countdown to death. Get your Julio's dead t-shirts hot off the silk screen. Julio's Buy your teddy bears, flowers, candles, and handwritten hot dog notes. Anything you need for the memorial pile. Julio Buy right dogs. Here, Come on. Get your Julio dogs. All beef. Okay, I'll take two of those dogs with relish. Wait, I thought he was your friend. Even I wouldn't eat one of those, and I hated him. Oh, he wasn't a friend friend. I know. Dude. The agents are surprised to bump into the irreverent, hip, young Hollywood post lacquer A list director, Trey Stone. So, uh, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm here to direct Julio's funeral for pay per view. Hey, listen to this one, guys. What do you get when you cross Julio Blanco, Michael Jackson, and the Dalai Lama? Oh, the film is coming. The scene is twisted. Look, everybody's in town for the funeral. Why don't you stop by the old Grande Hotel de Pamplona later? Many driver on the Dixie Chicks are coming over for a condom water balloon fight. Or something. Oh, the film is coming. Where? Shh. I. Oh, no. I'm okay. Peepers. Peepers. I do not.
would know if my family could take another tragedy. First, my husband, Padre Longo, taken in the building. Then, my daughter, Margarita Blanco, mysteriously kidnapped forever. What's the point of kidnapping someone forever? And now, my baby boy, taken from us all at the height of his career. To handle the intense grieving demand, we have set up a special line. The hotline to Julio is only $10 for the first minute, $3 for each additional minute. All proceeds go to the Salvador Blanco Charity Foundation. The number is 1-900. Uno, dos. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Oh, yo canto número. Uno, dos. Uno, dos. Tres, Say, you think these fans are stupid enough to buy all this? They bought his CDs, didn't they? Look, he cries. Candle for the miracle, boys. Get your candles for the miracle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, thanks. Hey, you got a light? <laughs> thanks. Whoa. What? Look. What? You'll never guess who gave me these matches. Who? Julio Blanco. <laughs>